Hello, YouTube. It's me, Keyburito, seemingly back from the dead, because I'm finally doing that second Ask Keyburito that I promised a year ago. Dear Lord. Anyways, first, I want to give you guys a task, alright? I want you to go to my Ask Keyburito video 1 on a separate tab, alright? I want you to watch it. And now I want you to stick your middle finger up at it and shoot it. Alright, I want you to shoot your computer screen with, I don't know, a gun. Okay, because everything I said in that video is a lie. Those com those opinions are complete bullshit. I don't agree with them anymore. They are not valid. Except for the part about me hating Nar Nar retards, so I still do. Well, not, not so much, but you get the point. Okay, so I'm going to start answering questions now. These are going to be incredibly old questions, and nobody's asked me very many questions recently. Because I haven't done one of these, and they don't expect me to do any more. But, let's start. First of all, we have one from Deku, uh, Master Deku, and he asks, "What is your what is your favorite Zelda Majora's Mask transformation mask, and why?" Well, assuming Ferris Didi mask doesn't count, I would have to say the um, Zora mask, because it's awesome. Not as awesome as Ferris Didi, but Zora's like you can swim and stuff, and swim in air if you use levitation cheats. I, mean, I really don't have a big favorite, but. If I'd had to choose one, I'd say the Zelda mask. Alright. Next question is from Davis FXV2. And the question is If you could be any Pokemon, who would it be? Well, uh, I don't really have any. I don't, I don't really want to be like the most powerful Pokemon or anything. In fact, I want to be a. I'd be a Torchic. Because. Well, it's because I took the uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 2 quiz, and, uh, without cheating, and I got Torchic, and I'm just gonna say, hey, Torchic's a cool Pokemon, and we're gonna stick with it. So, Torchic. Okay, next question. Um, this person is CartoonFan88, and they ask, hey, hey, Key Burrito, how do you, how do you like Sonic or Link? Well, I like them with an intense passion. Uh, Yeah. And also, learn to use friggin' grammar, alright? Just because it's the internet doesn't mean you have to misspell everything when you send me a question. It's one of my pet peeves. Ah! Oh my god! Oh! You jerk! I'm answering questions! You don't attack me when I'm answering questions! Anyways. Next question. Is from... Sheik7436. And it asks... What is your favorite Nintendo game system, like Wii, Nintendo 64, GCN, etc.? And do you have a favorite game for that system? Well, um... I'd have to say that my favorite system is either the Super, Super Nintendo 64... Or, wait, no, the Super NES or the Nintendo 64. Because the Super NES has all of the best games on it, like it has Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, Final Fantasy VI, Chrono Trigger, which I have yet to play. I'll do that eventually. And the N seven sixty four was my first Nintendo console, so it has a bit of nostalgia for me. Yeah, that was my first Nintendo console. No, not including the Game Boy. So, either one, take your pick. Uh, and no, I really don't have any favorite games. I don't like to play favorites. Next question is from Eco Homies, and it says, "Yo, Keyburito, I got one question. If you have every single Zelda game, what powers or abilities would you have from the characters?" Okay. <clears throat> well, from Zelda One, I would have Link's magical powers and damn castles and stuff. And from Zelda Two, I'd have even more magical powers and stuff. And from Zelda: Link to the Past, um. I don't know, more magic? I, I, there's not really much to say until, uh, um, Oracle of Seasons and Ages when I would have, uh, uh, Pharaoh's power to control time and Din's power to control seasons. There's really not much to say. There's not really all that many powers and stuff besides various magical stuff, so it's an odd question. Alright, next up is a question from Nintenny, and it says, Do you like Full Metal Alchemist? Well, yeah, I think it's an okay anime. I really don't not a humongous fan, but I I watch it occasionally whenever it comes on, so I don't mind. It's not one of those really popular animes like Naruto and stuff that I can't stand. Oh god, oh god, it's going to get me again. Ah! Jerk! Mm, 
Screw you, Pikachu. Okay. I got that on my system. Next question. Um, it is a long one from Nika, Nika Nico. It's, uh, how did you think of your username? Was it just two random words that popped into your head, or is there a reason behind it? Well, kids, sit down, because I have a story to tell you. Long ago, before YouTube was mega popular, in the year 2006, so long ago, there was a video series. I think it was something like Random Kingdom Hearts, and it was created by somebody named Dark Angel, or ah! Some shit like that. Damn, things interrupting my things. I'm gonna beat you up. Anyways, yeah, there was somebody named Dark Angel, and they made a series about Random Kingdom Hearts dubbing or something like that, and... At one point in the movie, uh, Roxas said, Kibredo, and she, uh, she put subs, Kibredo, because that's what it sounded like, and I was like, hey, that sounds like something I could use for a username, and so I used it for my username, and I became Kibredo. So, hopefully you guys will never have to ask me that question again, because that's, like, one of my most frequent questions. So, oh, next one. If you were able, oh, wait, this one's from Cross-Legged Devil. If you were able to be transported into any game, what would it be, and why? Well, that's pretty simple. I'd transport myself into Pokemon. Because Pokemon is like the awesomest thing ever. And, you know, nobody would give up a chance to be a Pokemon Master, because that's just fucking awesome. It's fucking awesome, man. I want to catch Pokemon and make them fight each other to death and shit. It's cool. Alright, let me go find the next question. Okay. <clears throat> a Zelda fan here asks, LOL, hey, I just wanted to know what your top five Zelda games are. Okay, well, my first top Zelda game would have to be Zelda Ocarina of Time, because it's the best, and it was my first, well, no, my first was, uh, my first was Oracle of Seasons, I think. But yeah, Zelda Ocarina of Time, because everybody loves it, it's awesome. And I like it mostly for the glitches, because they're fun. Uh, my second favorite Zelda game would be Zelda Link to the Past. More, well, more of popular opinion, too, and it's glitchiness. Uh, third would be Link's Awakening, because it's fun to glitch with, again. Uh, fourth... Probably Majora's Mask. Uh, it was my second Zelda game, my first 3D one. And, uh... It's... I never actually beat it without cheating. I still need to do that, but it's cool. And my fifth one... Hmm... Uh... Uh, probably Twilight Princess, because the first Zelda game with any sort of good plot, or anything like that. Alright, next question! Uh, NoxFan asks me, NoxFan1, What should, uh, I am planning on becoming annoying. What should I do to scare random people, and what is your favorite Paper Mario game? Oh man, do I have something to tell you! Alright, one strategy to annoy random people is to sing your ABCs, but in a random order, like A, B, C, D, F, G, 9, the number 7, 12, 13, 14, 15, Q. Of course, only do that if you're absolutely retarded and you still think pie is funny. A more, uh, classy way to be annoying, um, would be to, like, sn sneak up on people. Sing in the Mission Impossible theme, sniff their hair, and then quickly run off. Wait five more minutes and do it again. And again. Well, basically just come up with your own ways. Uh, also, my favorite Paper Mario game, Thousand Year Door. Why? Because that's the best plot. And it's awesome. Very awesome. Oh yeah. Alright, next question. Another one from De uh, Master Deku. And he gives me two questions. Twice the fun, twice the action. Oh yeah. Question number one. If randomly you wear you wear transported into any Sonic game, it doesn't matter for the question, and Sonic became Shadow and Shadow became Sonic, would you one leave things as it is? Or two, kill them both so they respawn as themselves. Uh I'd probably do one and I'd probably do one and then two. To watch a hilarity ensue, like always. And since I'd eventually have to restore status quo, i just kill them both and make them respond as themselves. Because there'd be no more Sonic games if I didn't do that. I think. Or, maybe not. Anyways, question number two. If Sonic became Naruto, would you kill him? One, no. And two, yes. Yes, I would. No questions asked. Okay, next question. <clears throat> 